there's uh, more and more evidence that a massive PSYOP operation is going on. I visited our family cemetery recently. My European relatives wanted to see the family plots, putting names with places, driving around the cemetery, flowers on many of the graves, and many with none. It's evidence of people who had their lives and those who remember them. Some have no one to remember them anymore. They had a life. It's just a conspiracy of not remembering. Welcome. Welcome to Illinois Bridging Awareness. I'm Stanley Smith. We've been on a journey here for four years. It started as a shared pandemic experience. Talking to my European relatives, it was much the same experience over there, leaving many feeling threatened, lied to, and manipulated. We'll never do it again. Whatever happens next, we've uh, we've been trying to lay the groundwork for being in a better place next time and to have better coping skills. Most of the people um, in the cemetery had their particular challenges, life events which impacted their lives and the life of the world. World War I, World War II, economic collapse, as well as many happy and prosperous times. In a review of race, ethnicity emerges as a more accurate definition. One must always identify as the lowest class they're part of. Anyone who is part Jewish is Jewish, and anyone who is part Black is Black. A review of the caste system in India, at first glance, parallels this phenomenon. My Indian friend explains it's a misnomer, thanks to the British, who misinterpreted a spiritual hierarchy as classes of people. My friend explained that in her daily living, she's sometimes Brahmin and sometimes Sudra, sometimes priest-like and sometimes more like a scrubwoman. We all want to reach the heights of spiritual enlightenment, but we all have to put our pants on one leg at a time. The Indian spiritual caste system corresponds with Maslow's hierarchy of human needs. We have our physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. They complement, support, and build upon each other, but they're not equal. There's always a bottom of the bottom and a top of the top. Each week on the Saturday call, we breathe into our happy place, we breathe into our fix-it place, and we breathe into our blow-it-up place. It's a hierarchy of where we need to be when we need to be there. We can be many things all at the same time. The alchemy of all this is not identifying with the bottom of the bottom, and instead focusing on the gratitude. We can have gratitude when things are going well and when they're not going so well. Rosemary Adduck in our group says that when God presented himself to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, uh, we responded in fear instead of love. We respond from the bottom of the bottom instead of from somewhere closer to the top. We're not sure what's going to happen next, but we're certain that things are going to keep on changing. The evidence of that is all around us. We can have this life and enjoy it too. We can have this life and experience it too. And we can have this life and have gratitude. And we can do that today. And we can do that together. If you would like to, to join us on the Saturday call, the Saturday call is every Saturday at 9 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. I will include my email in the description of this video. Be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.